Okay, Emily. All right, let's get this thing apart. This is going to be DC jack repair. Okay, just, I will not be closed for lunch, but I'll be closing at 3.30, I'll be out of the office. Absolutely, here we go. All right, so, what we have here is we got, I'm gonna start rating computers repairability, like with screwdrivers and stuff. All right, so, Customer brought this in. It's not charging. We used their charger. We used my charger. Um, checked everything. Everything with the charger seems to be fine. Fine. I know mine is fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if there's something up with the DC jack. This does have some security screws in it. So I just need to make sure that I use the right screwdriver to get these guys out. Um, but we're going to get it apart, we're going to get a look at the DC jack, and we're going to see what is what is going on with the DC jack. This computer is an HP, let's see here, what it actually says in here, it's a Folio 9480M. So it's one of their business class, we got a, we got a little SSD in here. See if I've got all the screws out of this panel. Okay. This is one of the business class ones where all of the screws are, are retained except for just like a couple of them. Overall, it's just a nice little, nice little laptop. All right, so where is our DC jack on this? Oops, I just threw a screw. Oh, well, right, wait, right now. oh, it's not a screw. Piece of broken plastic. Fun. Okay, so we got to figure out where the DC jack comes in. DC jack comes in over here, so... Oof. Let's take a quick look with my... My basic microscope here. Before we whip out the expensive one. So... Even just a quick look at this thing doesn't doesn't look so great, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything in this situation. It's definitely got some discoloration and stuff on it. So we have some panels we're gonna remove this this over panel here, and then we'll see if let's see how far does this go back. It looks like I had to remove this like entire this entire tray here. All right, we'll see. We'll see how far we got to go down to uh, to get this uh, genuinely apart. Looks like that's all one piece. Ooh, that's a different size screw. So this is all under this panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these screws with this panel. You gotta get this whole metal plate out, so. Well, I'm gonna put them right back in, Emily. No matter what I do, I wanna put them right back in so they don't get lost. That's one of the most important things with when you're doing something like this is, like if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna repair what you're working on right away, you gotta put the screws back in. Because otherwise they gonna get lost. And this is back in an age when HP went really, really overboard with, with what they were doing. Like unnecessarily large amounts of screws for no reason. Right, one more screw here, and then just got a couple more that I do need to take out. And 
and those are all captive screws. Let's unhook that. There we go. And then we just disconnect our Wi-Fi cables. Because we're not, we're not actually going to remove them from this. So we're just going to flip this over. All right, let's get a good look at this DC jack. All right, let's grab our voltage meter. Plug in his power cord. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take his DC jack and his power cord, plug them in, DC voltage. Nineteen volts. Nineteen volts. Nineteen volts. So, immediately, DC jack is good. So why are you not turning on? It might have something to do with this. I thought this originally was damaged, but in actuality, no, this is, this is the, a, an adapter to, to, that just goes in like that. It's kind of interesting. This is the SSD, Emily, right here. It's an old Samsung. Alright, so now we're gonna do some gonna do some short testing real quick. Check to see if we have any any shorts. <laughs> this is an old style laptop that has an actual like fuse that if something were to go bad, it, like it actually... This guy. Got a little fuse. So if something goes wrong, it, um... It'll just pop. And then you can actually just desolder this and just replace it. Just a quick like visual inspection of this board. I don't see anything particularly damaged. I really don't think it's the DC jack. So that like this back in. We get no response from the motherboard. Oh. Now we do. All right, cool. So, more than likely, just unplugging this thing and plugging it back in was all it needed. Now, I'm wondering if this cable just came loose. But we're good. Now, I'm noticing, yeah, this fan is dead. Let me see if I can order this fan. When you spin a fan, it should spin for longer than that. And like I said, the customer was complaining it was getting hot and you can see that it's quite covered in just filth. Yeah, the computer will power on. So a good way to tell that, you know, your fan is starting to get towards the end of its life is one, you look at it and it looks absolutely atrocious, but when you spin it, it should spin relatively freely. And let's see if I can get this sound on, on the mic. 
but it actually makes a sound that it's not a good sound. So that's you'll be able to hear that throughout basically the entirety of the computer's operation. So you just just something something that's another indicator that the fan is starting to go. All right, now let's go ahead and get this guy back together. Now that well, one, it's turning on, which is good. Gotta make sure we get all these wires back in the same places. Because unfortunately. Oh, it's got a screw in it, and then the other screw is this one, which is there. Cool. I'll put all these screws back in here. Because, like, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain to take this all the way apart again, but at least this way you remember where the screws are. There are different ways of doing it, depending on the computer. Like some of the more basic computers when I do this, I will just, um, I will just leave the screws out. But with this, because there are just so, absolutely so many screws, I wanna put the screws back into it so that I don't lose where they're supposed to go. Because that would be more annoying than anything else is not knowing where these screws are actually supposed to go. So, I know I got one here. And I know there's one there. There's another one here. And these are these are actually like they're specialized screws. So when you look at them, let's see if we can see this here. Yeah, we'll just try and look at try and look at this here. So, the head of the screw isn't a Phillips head. It is a, um, it's, a neat, it's a security Torx. So, it doesn't have a normal, a normal Phillips head. So, it's just, I don't want to lose these screws. And, yeah, it's a, it's a good idea to just put them back. I'm not going to put these panels back on because I know where those panels go. But, like I said, I can put these screws in there and then not, not actively lose them. And then I'll know the next time I won't have to figure out, hmm, does this screw go here? Does this screw go here? I'll just have a pretty good, have a pretty good idea at that point. Because, like I said, all of the screws that are on these are, they're actually captive, so I can't, can't lose them. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.